Hey everybody, welcome to the SMA Journey 51 vlog. Okay, in last week's video, I told you that I was going to be focusing some of my attention on other pharmaceutical companies that are doing research and development of new SMA treatments. Now these treatments may be a year, a year and a half out, but I think now is the best time to start looking at these companies because I want to make sure that we have all the information that we need before the rollout of these new therapies so that we'll be able to talk to our doctors to find out if these therapies are going to be right for us. So in today's PowerPoint presentation, I'm focusing on one specific pharmaceutical company. And over the coming months, I'll do this for other pharmaceuticals so that we have a good bit of knowledge under our belt and we're ready to start asking the educated questions. So take a look at the PowerPoint presentation and afterwards I'll come back and I'll give you a few final thoughts. Okay, so in this presentation, I'm going to be looking at some pharmaceutical companies that are active within the SMA treatment field. I will be examining one pharmaceutical company in this presentation that is currently pursuing an SMA treatment within the end of 2018 and first quarter of 2019. In upcoming videos, I will examine other pharmaceuticals that are also active in getting their treatments to us in the near future. While I fully understand that these treatments are at least one year away from becoming reality, this is the time that we, as SMA patients, should take to begin familiarizing ourselves with these pharmaceutical companies and what they could possibly have for us within the next few years. The pharmaceutical companies that I will be looking at in the upcoming months will be those companies that I believe have the greatest chances of getting their treatments passed through the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA. Much of the information that I'm going to be giving you was information that was given to me by the pharmaceutical company itself or information that I found either on their website or on the internet itself. Any and all graphics used in my presentation will be linked in the description field of this video so that my subscribers and followers can go to these websites and see this information for themselves. So the first company or first pharmaceutical company that I'm going to be looking at today is called Avexis and their therapy known as AVXS 101. Avexis is a gene therapy company that is focused on bringing gene therapy from the lab to the clinical settings for patients and families with rare and orphan neurological genetic diseases. Their initial proprietary gene therapy candidate, called AVXS 101, is being evaluated for the treatment of spinal muscular atrophy, SMA type 1 and type 2. They have been granted proprietary gene therapy status for their development of AVXS 101, which has been granted orphan drug designation for the treatment of all types of SMA. Along with that, they've also had breakthrough therapy designation as well as fast track designation for the treatment of SMA type 1, which is one of the most life-threatening neurological genetic disorders in children. Their primary focus is to develop gene therapies for SMA, initially targeting SMA type 1, which is currently in the development stage. They have recently initiated a phase 1 clinical trial to investigate AVXS 101 for the treatment of SMA type 2. Data from this study will help inform potential future development plans in other SMA subtypes, such as SMA type 3 and SMA type 4. Now, I'm going to be looking at these two therapies, and I'm going to take one at a time. And this may be a little bit hard to understand, but as we go through it, I think you'll understand it just a little bit better. Their first one is the SMA type 1 pivotal trial, and all the information that I'm going to be presenting to you was copied verbatim from the Avexis website. The open label, single arm, single dose, multi-center trial known as STRIVE is designed to evaluate the efficacy and safety of a one-time IV infusion of AVXS 101 in patients with SMA type 1. The co-primary efficacy outcome measures of the trial include the achievement of independent sitting for at least 30 seconds at 18 months of age and event-free survival at 14 months of age. Co-secondary outcome measures include the ability to thrive and the ability to remain independent of ventilator support at 18 months of age. So remember, this therapy is called STRIVE. 
The next one is the SMA Type 2 Phase 1 trial. And again, I copied this information verbatim. Goes on to state, the open label, dose comparison, multi-center Phase 1 trial, known as STRONG, is designed to evaluate the safety, optimal dosing, and proof of concept for, for efficacy of AVXS 101 in two distinct age groups of patients with SMA Type 2, utilizing a one-time IT route of administration. Now, what they mean by IT route, they're talking about intrathecal injection, which is what we as patients of Spinrazil took. The primary outcome measure for patients less than 24 months of age at the time of dosing is the achievement of the ability to stand without support for at least three seconds. The primary outcome measure for patients between 24 months and 60 months of age at the time of dosing is the achievement of change in the Hammersmith functional motor scale expanded from baseline. The secondary outcome measures for both age groups is the proportion of patients that achieve the ability to walk without assistance, defined as taking at least five steps independently while displaying coordination and balance. Developmental abilities, including motor function, will also be evaluated as exploratory objectives. Now, the information that you're seeing on your screen right now talks about the clinical trial known as STRIVE. The next image is going to be the clinical trial known as STRONG, which are the two that we just spoke about. This is coming from the clinicaltrials.gov website, and I'm going to put these links in the description field of this video because I'm not showing you everything. I just didn't have enough room to show it to you. But if you go to the first one, which is the Gene Replacement Therapy Clinical Trial for Patients with SMA Type 1, known as STRIVE, as you go down that list, it'll tell you all the qualifications that are needed if you have a child that may be eligible for this clinical trial. And the same thing for the second one, which is the study of intrathecal administration of AVXS 101 for spinal muscular atrophy patients, and this one was known as STRONG. So again, go to, this, to the description field of my video and you'll see the link and you can go to the clinicaltrials.gov website and take a look at it. Some of you may have children within this age group and they may be eligible to take part in this clinical trial. If you don't have children this age, maybe you have a family member or a friend that has children that have been diagnosed with SMA and they may be eligible for these trials. Now, the next thing that you're seeing on your screen was a screenshot that I took from Cure SMA's website, and it's entitled SMA Drug Pipeline. And it goes on to state, this year we are funding research with more breadth, depth, and diversity than ever before. This chart shows the drugs and therapies that are currently in the pipeline for SMA. Now, one caveat that I've got is down on the bottom left. It states that this chart was last updated January of 2017. So this chart is just a little bit older than one year. And I called Cure SMA to see if they had an updated chart, but I have not heard back from them at the time that I started doing this video. If I do get in touch with them and they do have an update, I'll make sure that I let everybody know. But this information is coming directly from their website, so I'm sure this is the most recent information that they have. But if you look at the top, they talk about Biogen, Ionis, and Spinraza. Biogen and Ionis were the pharmaceutical companies that created Spinraza. And if you follow the blue line all the way to the right, you can see that it's already available to patients, which is what we've been taking. But if you go down five more, they talk about Avexis and their treatment known as AVXS 101. And if you follow the gold line to the right, you'll see that they're done with the clinical development phase one, and they're about to go in to clinical development phase two. Now, as I call this company, I'll try to get further information exactly where they stand, but right now what I've read is that this will probably be available within the first quarter of 2019. So it's just a year out. The next image that you're seeing talks about how the pipeline has grown since the year 2000. You can see that in 2000, there were only a couple of pharmaceutical companies. And as you can see, all the way through the year 2016, you can see just how much this chart has grown. Right now, or at least at the end of 2016, there are about 28 pharmaceutical companies that are in this program. 
active in the program, there are about 17 to 18, and about six to seven have programs that are in clinical trials. Then the information on the right shows the number of companies investing in SMA drug, drug programs. You can see that in 2005, there was one. In 2016, there have been 14 companies that have invested in trying to come up with treatments for SMA. So the future is looking brighter each and every day for all of us. And really, we all have a lot to look forward to. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation and the information that I gave you. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I hope everybody's had a wonderful week. God bless you, and until next time.